I've spent the past week familiarizing myself with our Employees of the Year. Much like our Teacher of the Year finalists, they all have a story. And their stories have a familiar theme. Above and beyond, above and beyond. Something I saw in almost every write-up. Above and beyond. <laughs> above and beyond. There you go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and love. They genuinely love what they do. And let's face it, when there's genuine love, the kids feel that. After all, that's the first thing a child learns from you. It's whether you truly care or not. It's the very first thing that they learn. And it's that love that makes our students more connected to schools, our athletes more better teammates, our communities more trusting and involved. So let us, in turn, get ready to show some love to our five outstanding employees of the year, starting with Katie Corsi, math specialist. <laughs> Senator Elementary. Come on up. Okay. So, Miss Corsi enjoys spending time with family and friends reading and painting, playing music with children at her church, and when reading all the comments made about Miss Corsi, I particularly loved, loved the story from a parent whose son she helped adjust to preschool. How it went from having a tough week when they first started to high fives every day for Miss Corsi. That's what it's all about. Ms. Farnell said that Ms. Corsi is simply a rock star and wishes the loudest heartfelt congratulations for this honor. Amy Smith, in the back, our supervisor of mathematics and gifted, talented instruction, also shared with me, Ms. Corsi is always positive and encouraging to her students, her teachers, her teams. She's diligent to develop and create resources that support the primary classrooms in mathematics and is committed to making resources to support teachers' planning. Ms. Corsi is a wonderful asset to the mathematics team. She brings great insight and energy to our county's mathematics leadership. Congratulations for making such a difference in the lives of the littles, Ms. Corsi. Outstanding Specialist of the Year. Your next star is Outstanding Bus Driver of the Year, Nancy King. <laughs> Serving Graysonville Elementary and Stevensville Middle. Got a lot of love in the room. John Murdoch, Coordinator of Transportation, shared that Ms. King does her job so well and is deservedly at the top of the best bus driver of the year list. Some other comments include Ms. King is thoughtful, reliable, always careful with our children's safety. She goes the extra mile, kind of like above and beyond, but extra mile, transportation. <laughs> transportation thing. You know what I'm <laughs> she sends reminders when there's days off of early dismissal, communicates directly with parents to keep us informed of closures, delays, other events, and is always on time. I never worry for a second with my kids getting to and from school. Ms. King is not only patient and kind with our children, she goes out of her way to make great connections with parents. I consider Nancy to be exceptional. And there's more. It's evident Students love Miss King and their bus driver as <laughs> as do the parents. 
She's so much more than a bus driver. She's a friend, a guardian of our neighborhood, and is so deserving of this honor. Mrs. Nancy King. Congratulations. Our next award goes to Outstanding Support Employee of the Year, Janelle Nash, paraprofessional Mattapique Middle. So for this award, Jolene Smith, our Supervisor of Special Education, shared some beautiful sentiments with me about Miss Nash. Ms. Nash is a school assistant in the middle school program for academic and community support, more commonly known as the PACS program. She is charged with assisting students as they acquire valuable social, life, and academic skills. As a difference maker, she takes it a step further, ensuring that every student has access to a well-rounded experience in school by providing the kind of support that allows her students to participate alongside their peers in events such as school dances, including the photos and dinners that precede them, chorus concerts, after school activities, as well as countless Special Olympics sporting events. Mrs. Nash can also be found on the sidelines of games supporting these students long after they've left Mattapique Middle School. And here's one. She can also be seen every Wednesday, donning pink for Pink Wednesday, to show support for fellow cancer survivors and those continuing to fight the battle. She embodies the characteristics of being a caring, passionate, inclusive, and selfless individual. Our staff, students, and community are better for having her alongside us. In addition to her job at Mattapique, Ms. Nash is a friend, a wife, a proud mother, and a grandmother. Thank you for all you do for our children, and congratulations, Ms. Jenna. Now we're down to our last two. Before I call up, I see him sitting over there. All right, so before I call up our outstanding service, student service award winner, AKA the coach of the year, I've got to break a little protocol because he sent me this lengthy email the other day, basically asking me to congratulate anybody but him. <laughs> I'm serious. And that speaks to his character. So I told him I would. So stay where you are. And whether you like it or not, though, you're still going to have to come up here eventually. <laughs> but before I share with you all what David shared with me to share with the public. Um, on a personal note, I just wanted to also say that I've worked with David. Um, I've worked with him as his world language supervisor for the past five years, and last year, my son decided to take up wrestling. <laughs> so, no, not for Queen Anne's. <laughs> Which leads me to my next thing. So, after seeing him wrestle, you know, David went out of his way to send me YouTube clips, techniques for him to try, this three-page email just filled with encouragement. And I got to imagine he's the only opposing team coach to ever do that for a player on the <laughs> district rival circuit ever. <laughs> but because of it, my son always took the time to pay David a special visit whenever they'd happen to be at the same meet. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Sometimes just to shake his hand and say hello. And the thing is, I've watched David just take, take his time with him to, to do that. Makes him feel like he matters. And, but that's who Coach Stricker is. 
So thank you because while you say this award isn't about you, in so many ways it is and it should be. Now, for Mr. Stricker, in his own words, you have to imagine him as me. As you might not know, I'm not the best at receiving praise. This Coach of the Year award is more of a reflection of the people who have helped me accomplish all that I have. The support I've received from the incredible Queen Anne's County High School wrestling parents over the years, you are the best parents in sports. From volunteer coaches, Cody Barberich, Frank Conley, Rondell Bryant, Sean Blackwell, Kyron Hutchins, to assistant coaches John Waters and Jimmy Swindle, without them, we do not achieve the success we have. They are my backbone. As much as this award has my name on it, this award encapsulates all the extra time that they have put in. Then there's Sharon Schippel, seating to his left, <laughs> who has been my guiding light since the day I took over as head coach. Without her, I would not be the coach I am today. Every decision we make as a coaching staff is based on what Ms. Schippel would think if we did it that way. <laughs> so you got that to worry about. To the incredible young woman, women who have taken the leap of faith to join the Queen Anne's County High School wrestling team. There's a lot of them. You sparked a fire. They believed in the coaching staff and they made history, blazing a trail in a sport that I cannot thank them enough. Last, most importantly, a thank you to my wife, Tammy Stricker. When we started dating, when we started dating, she didn't know what it would be like dating a wrestling coach. <laughs> she is my rock during the season, and with all the countless hours spent alongside me and in the bleachers, she's become just as much of an influence on the team as Mrs. Schipple. It is because of Tammy that I also pursued the women's wrestling team with as much passion as I do. I want every women's wrestler to have the strength of character that she has and her fearless, fearlessness. I know asking you to read all this is a lot, <laughs> but this recognition is not about me. It is about all the incredible people who have helped the Queen Anne's County High School wrestling team achieve the success it has. With that said, now come up here, David Strecker, Coach of the Year. So our last employee of the award. <laughs> if you can't give a few more minutes for something like that, what can you do? <laughs> Keep sending him those tips, will you? <laughs> last award of the evening, the most outstanding leadership award, goes to a former colleague of mine, from our CNI family back at table 14, shout out. Now principal of Churchill Elementary, shout out over there. Ms. Susan Walbert, please come up. So, what can you say about Susan? <laughs> I can't believe she's been a principal three years now. Feels like just yesterday I'd pop down to your office for advice, but you've done such an amazing job and you've created such a welcoming and engaging environment for your staff, your students, and your community. It's no wonder they all love you as Churchill's principal like we did in CNI. Ms. Walbert's staff shares that she respects, cares for, and truly loves every staff member in her building. And the passion and the love that she has for her school is evident in everything that she does. Everything she does as a principal. And a parent shared that she's simply a phenomenal principal and my kids love her. And from a staff member, I am grateful that both of my kids have had the opportunity to have her as a principal and I'm thankful that I get to work 
under her every day. I mean, there's no better testament to great leadership than when your own staff has their own children thriving under your care. Another wrote, as a member of the community, Mrs. Walbert makes me want to do the best I can for our students. Her leadership and clear goals help make Churchill Elementary a truly special place. In addition to being an amazing support to her staff and students, making sure every family is included, the way she effectively communicates. She's a family first kind of leader, enjoying spending time with her husband, her family, and especially her eight grandkids. And she's this year's Outstanding Leadership Award winner, Susan Walbert. to our Teacher of the Year Awards presentation. Please welcome up 2022 Teacher of the Year, Cassie Hassler. I promise it's just big font. Um, <laughs> It's an honor to be here speaking this evening and to hear the story of this year's nominees. Congratulations to Aaron, Thomas, Kayla, and Andrea on being nominated. And for the impact and uh, the positive impact you made on the students and our community. I am grateful for being Queen Anne's County Teacher of the Year for the past year. Thank you to Dr. Salings and Mr. Bell for supporting and encouraging my efforts. A special thanks to my family for their love and their enthusiasm. Thank you to my best friends who encouraged me to pursue this opportunity and to my fellow teachers and my Churchill family for your support. Last, thanks to Susan Walbert for being a leader who encourages innovation. Sometimes ideas, specifically mine, can seem grandiose, too difficult, too time-wasting, or too expensive to implement, but not according to Susan. She promoted the development of art enrichment blocks, a before-school art, art program, two art family nights, and the inclusion of social-emotional learning in our, into our art program. Thank you for the support that you give me, the students in our community, and I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Last year during my acceptance speech, I spoke about the power of relationships, about how our words, our art, and our actions can change the world around us. Our words can spread love and kindness. They can leave scars or heal wounds. They can re radiate positivity or diminish hope. Our interactions and our attitudes with others can build relationships that last a lifetime or become a fleeting moment. A long time ago, I saw a TV show that stuck with me to this day. It was about how our attitudes and our outlooks in life can affect how we act in our daily lives. The panel spoke about the mindset when we have to say what we have to do versus what we get to do. The exchange of those two words, have and to get, can change how we feel. The example they used was very entertaining. It was the parent that said, oh, I can't go with you tonight. I've got to, I have to watch my kids. The facilitator pointed out, well, that's, that's really, those are your kids, and that's what you're supposed to do. It's an honor to get to have your own kids, and you won't be with them forever. At the time, I did not have kids, and I was very far from having kids, but that message was very, very powerful. The I have to and the get to mindset is one that helps get me through some hard times. It can be hard to jump into I get to go to work today attitude every morning, but remembering what we get to do can help our positive attitude. In education, there are a lot of I have tos. I have to be there on time, regardless of the seven minute window. I have to give a, <laughs> sorry, I have to give a state assessment. I have to act today because sometimes we really just have to act. But what about the I get to's? I get to see these children grow. 
I get to accidentally be called mommy or a pet's name. <laughs> I, get to, I get to have some magical memories that only a teacher can get. I get to see the smile of a student who finally gets it. I get to be the one that the student asks for help and trusts every day. But while we are dealing with our have-tos and our get-tos, we need to recognize that our kids are coming from backgrounds and environments where their experiences are much, much different than ours. Some of their get-tos may be, I get to come to school and leave home. I get to eat breakfast. I get to be safe. I get to be with someone who finally believes in me. The way we talk about something, whether, our, whether to ourselves or to others, can influence our attitudes and the attitudes of those we encounter. When I became Queen Anne Teacher of the Year, I was a little nervous of what I would have to do. People said to me, don't do it, you will have to do so much extra stuff. So it wasn't like I was trying to do extra already. Fortunately, I ignored those wonderful comments and stopped worrying about what I would have to do and got to be excited about what I would get to do. Over the past year, I've gotten to do some amazing things. The first ad adventure happened when the Teacher of the, of the Year were stranded on Smith Island with no phone service. <laughs> there was nothing except for a real school boat and maybe 45 residents, a cake, and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation Environmental Program. Needless to say, we got to know each other, and it was amazing. We were all so very different, yet we had so much in common. I also, over the past year, I got to win the Northrop Grumman Teacher of the Year STEM Challenge. I had a tour of the White House and asked security some awkward questions. <laughs> drive, drive a car with lots of but buttons. Thank you, Hertrich of Easton. Um, and most importantly, represent Queen Anne's County teachers, Southersville Elementary, Churchill Elementary, our community, and our county's art program. I got to speak up about teacher care and retention, the significance of SEL in our schools, parent education, new teacher preparedness and support, and funding. I got to spread the word about art is, art's essential presence in education. It's, 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 um, correlation with STEM and motivate others to change their vocabulary when speaking about elementary arts. We do not just color and cut. We develop personal expression, creativity, and critical thinking skills, which are all lifetime skills we need. But and being a teacher is awesome, challenging, and most definitely rewarding. We get to teach hundreds of children, and maybe we will be the one that gets remembered for making a difference. We all get to choose our outlook, our goals, and our attitude. Queen Anne's County is full of amazing students led by phenomenal teachers, administrators, and staff that impact the lives of hundreds of children. Please be the teacher who gets to make a positive impact, and thank you. Dr. Salins and Dr. Sprankle to the stage. I think it's uh, Teacher of the Year announcement time. <laughs> so, so I was just given some very important information from Lynette that there is a dessert bar oh, over no. there. The stretching? Right there. <laughs> and so when we, but you have to wait until we're done. But please make sure you go to the dessert bar right there. Did I, did I, did I do it well, Lena? Is that good? Okay, there you go. All right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So now's the time. So, so this is probably, I have to say, one of the best parts of the job, right? Honestly. I mean, to be able to give such an honor to somebody who's going to travel over the next year is going to experience some incredible things in their life that they've n literally never experienced before. Many things that I've never experienced in my life and, and be better for it, be richer for it, 
um, and, and impact our kids in probably a better way for it. And so I am so very honored to announce the 2023 Teacher of the Year for Queen Anne's County Public School to Andrea Shelton. <laughs> Anybody who knows me, speechless is not what you think of. <laughs> I'm just taking it in for a second. Dr. Salins and Dr. Sprinkle, the members of the Board of Education, Phil and all the members of the nomination and selection committee, thank you so much. I deeply appreciate the confidence that you are placing in me to represent Queen Anne's County Public Schools. I'm incredibly humbled considering the caliber of my co-finalists. Kayla, I've only heard amazing things about you. I know you are so deserving of this award. Tom, I don't know where Tom is. Tom, I know you invest tons of hours in National History Day and you impact so many kids and my sons were two of them, so thank you. And Aaron. Aaron was my two sons' favorite middle school teacher ever. And you were special because you got to know them. You made learning fun and applicable, but you got to know my boys. And that is what makes Queen Anne's County Public Schools so amazing. I'm grateful to my early mentors at Central Middle School during my rookie years, Miss Dunn. <laughs> Miss Dunn. Uh, Amy Bauer. Sandy Frederick and Liz Hausberg, I'm a, I'm a product of their collective influence and I would not have continued in education had they not been such amazing role models to me. Mr. Bell is my biggest cheerleader. And I want to thank you for empowering me to do what intimidates me. I needed that. To all of the Ken Island administration, now and previously, you have not only entertained, but you have supported my crazy big visions like Cassie was talking about. And um, I can't thank you enough for that support. It means a lot to me. And my crazy teacher friends. <laughs> That's them. They say you are who you surround yourself with, and I think we make each other better. At least a little bit more sane, right? And I love you all so much for that. And of course, my amazing husband, Brendan. Yes. He's my biggest fan and my most loved colleague. <laughs> we pour so much into our students in the classroom and outside of the classroom. And we couldn't be all in what we do if we didn't do it together. When Brendan and I attended a job fair at our, our college senior year, we interviewed with administrators from Vermont down to Georgia, but there was something that Denise Hirschberger spoke about, unlike anybody else. That woman spoke more about living in Queen Anne's County and raising a family here than she did about working here. And even as young kids, it, you know, just leaving college, that intrigued us. So we decided to go on an adventure and move to Maryland get a couple years experience, maybe head back home. And our adventure is now on year 22 <laughs> because we built a family here that we couldn't leave. I've worked in three schools at two levels, four different content areas in dozens of different roles, 
and I've been blessed with some of the most compassionate human beings to be my coworkers. You invest just as much into what you teach as who you teach. And each time I left a school, any apprehension that I had was quickly replaced by being welcomed into the most dedicated family. If you think about the number of teachers who attend dance recitals and scout advancements and different games, it's incredible how involved we are with our students in the community, not just that 90 minute block that we teach them. In fact, my son just mentioned to me as soon as he got home from his baseball game, mom, my English teacher was at the game. Like, he noticed that. And I think that it's important that you all know how much you're noticed, what you do for our community outside of the classroom. It is noticed, and maybe it's not the loudest, but the people who count notice. I'm deeply honored to represent the educators in this county as Teacher of the Year, and I promise to use my voice to praise you, support you, and to advocate for our family. Thank you.